What is the best way to reduce your carbon footprint? Is it driving a hybrid? Is it recycling? Is it not eating meat? The answer is actually something that you probably haven't heard of before and will not like. And the answer is, um, should I get to it right away? Yeah. Don't have so many kids. We have this chart here about emission savings. It equates to tons of carbon dioxide equivalents. Uh, high up is living car free, avoiding transatlantic flight, buying into green energy. But it skips from one ton, two tons, three tons, to 60 tons for having one fewer child. It's kind of a truth that you might not like to hear because, you know, people love children. People especially love their children, they can do no wrong, except over the course of their lives, they will be using a lot of fossil fuels in various ways, uh, water, other amounts of natural resources that cannot be replaced. I mean, look, we, like, especially I think our generation and the previous generation, we've got a lot more people who are just choosing not to have children. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a great. Uh, justification for them, if, as if they needed other, if, not that you need any justification other than I don't want kids, but at well, least you can use this to be like, hey, get off my back, I'm saving the planet. That's an interesting uh, point that you made actually. I wasn't thinking about this going into this, which yeah. is this generation, um, I mean, previous generations felt like they had to do the thing where you get married and have children by a right. certain age. Those were the life goals. You have messed up as a person, but yeah. in this era, People are realizing, hey, I don't really want to do this. I don't like this. I am recognizing and being making a choice that is probably responsible in the long run that I don't want to have children. And that's more and more and more culturally and socially acceptable. And this goes right along with it. If you want to have kids though, this certainly isn't a slam on you. No. But it will actually save, I, I mean, if you think about it, of course, because each person is going to use up a certain amount of resources in their lifetime, if you have one less of those, then there's that much saved. There are people who want five kids, there are people who want no kids, and, mm -hmm. and that's up to you, that's up to your choice. Embrace it whatever you want. The fact that the, I just, I, I would like to hope that now with evidence like this, this actually becomes more well known so that certain people can stop guilting those mm -hmm. who don't wanna have kids of like, but what are you doing to the planet or the population? Like, no, I'm saving the planet because science. I think. It's crazy how society views that, like you don't have a kid, you're crazy, you're out of your mind. Yeah, because it's, it's just like, well one, don't tell people how to live their life, it's not your life. And two, I think it's actually extremely unselfish to come to the conclusion that you don't want to have a child, you don't want the experience of being a parent, and you don't just do it anyway because some phantom unknown person in society thinks you should. Right. You should live your life the way that you feel is most true to you. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Audience, have you decided to live child free? And is it due <laughs> to the environment or other reasons? What are they? Please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more videos.